want to become a mom one day. And he keeps avoiding this conversation. I don't have much time when it comes to like having children. Like yeah. I get to see you guys have families. I get to see you all have kids. <laughs> what do I do? Have a lot of Shaida and Bilal. A cold like dog nose. And this is <laughs> this is what it means. Cool. It's this cool. is dog nose. Yeah. Chad has been here for a little more than a week, more. and you know we we've had some tense moments, but we're going to try to put the past in the past. Let's see how that Your works. Your city is beautiful. How oh, annoying! It's nice. Now. It's beautiful. Don't take me and spin me around. Spin you around. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> Tonight is going to be a nice evening. Awkward. Something I've been thinking about for a I minute, know. and I have a nice surprise for her. Oh my god, babe, look at that. Isn't that like, is it like gondola or something like that? So romantic. We're gonna have to do that one day. Uh, Where are you walking? Well, to there. I know you Ooh. said that one day is now. You like to be on one of these. So one day is today. <laughs> so. In the night? In the night. In the night. Feels like Paris, don't it? Okay. Paris. <laughs> <laughs> it's Bennett, you a fucking Maybe idiot. Learn your Europe. Rocky, I know, at this right? point, I just want to let bygones be bygones and move forward. Fell in love with uh -huh. Bilal is his romantic side. He's like, oh my god. The romantic like, side of spending money on you, and that's it. Else, well, we exactly. he's acting, acting like, like a oh, bitch otherwise. Mm -hmm. He is super romantic. Controlling bitch. That's what every woman wants in a man. No. Here we go. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I'll pass. <laughs> yeah, I would pass so Definition bad. Definition of romantic. What's you thinking about? Just feeling so overwhelmed and happy. Like, these are the things that I prayed for, you know? I've been single for so long. Yeah. Thinking that i am never find love, being a hopeless romantic. Doesn't she just sound desperate a little? She's really desperate to find the man. It's, But she's going to be either, even more desperate to have babies, which he doesn't want, so, yeah. I know. Like, she, uh, did she forget everything that happened in the previous episodes? She's just like... But he took her to a gondola. Yeah. And now everything is better. Sure, she sure, spent sure. money on me. Yay. Mm, date night. Yeah. And, and Once... I think he just enjoys when somebody praises him. That's all he... Exactly. Yeah. Definitely. He's just happy if, if, if a girl doesn't have no opinion at all. She's just like... Oh, in wow and ah, what he, mm -hmm. you does he does, and that's it, right? Don't, don't state on your opinions on anything else, though. Yeah. But, I think yeah. he has such low self confidence that he always needs an ego boost, like all the time mm. for everything. <laughs> I that know, right? boy. really frustrated, thinking that okay, I'm never gonna find love, I'm never gonna be happy. I can, I can relate very very much of everything you're talking about. Like, marriage has been something I've, I've wanted since I was 10 years old. Mm -hmm. You know, you want it, and you want it bad, you want to find the right person and share the life with and share these experiences with. But then also in the back of your mind, like, well, maybe it's, maybe marriage is not in my cards. Like, <laughs> the person I'm meant to be with doesn't exist. <laughs> Going through uh, a divorce, I was I was left brokenhearted. You know, just the feeling of not being wanted. Your ego shattered. Yeah. It feels like it's been running for me, even though I was always trying, trying to find it. But Shida is an amazing person, and feels like a dream. Almost feels like we're both dreaming. You know, I think there was many different times where we both felt like this might not happen. You know, um, so. We're, we're very fortunate and blessed. And I know when I met you, I said I didn't want kids because I gave up on everything. Uh -huh. I gave up on love, gave up on family life. There we go. When you meet the right person, that could change completely. Mm. I feel as if I've met the oh, right yeah. person. And I know you are the right person for me, 100%. About 110%. 110%. <laughs> yeah, but that's, that's good to know. The part about wanting children, what the fuck? I know, right? She said I'm 110%. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah. <laughs> He's just ignoring uh, it. <laughs> He's like, yeah. nope. I do want to have kids. Mm -mm. Oh, look, it sunk. There we go. You understand? I understand where you're coming from. But no. We've only spent like seven days with each other physically, right? Yeah. Besides now. So just, you know. Those seven days, seven, days, three, you weren't talking. Yeah. I think that like once you, you, you know, you find love and you have it, you have to work even harder to maintain it. So hmm. or the whole dynamic <laughs> of like putting a child in the mix, mm -hmm. you know, that's something totally completely different. My biggest fear is to get married and have to go through another divorce and have children from that divorce. That's kind of inevitable you know, for you, dude. We need more time to get to know each <laughs> other much more. And for her also just to adapt you know, of being in a whole new country. You know, when you when you throw a child into the mix, it everything's changed. You She's in a hurry, though. Go. <laughs> extra stress. Get work. You know, her eggs moment. are dying, dying off. Way too long, you know. If Shida and I don't agree on the Kids. baby thing, it can become an issue. Could potentially even drive us apart. <laughs> yeah. That wouldn't be such a bad thing, you know. Yeah. yeah. I can't believe how much are they avoiding this topic. Like it's the most important topic before you get married, but no, they're avoiding is it as plague, really. What the hell? They are so superficial, even when they are talking about their feelings. It's like we are grateful, we should be grateful for this and that thing. I'll have to give us this and it's like come on be serious talk how you need to and solve it out and see if you even but they're not solving anything they're gonna drag this no. till they're married and then after yeah. marriage they will be like oh, maybe we didn't solve everything we don't know each other that well uh, divorce maybe Fine. if you will be taking her on this kind of dates and buying her clothes and shoes and so on maybe she'll shut up yeah. But but she's he's doing all that and then complaining she might think she's a gold digger. I mean, come on. <laughs> yeah, I know. Come on. Let's be serious here. Useless. I know. Them. It is compulsory for us, men and women, to learn our religion. What? Every time we have a discussion, you give me a lecture. True. Do you feel like it's a lecture? All the time. Yeah, when Bella definitely. goes into lecturing mode, I feel to respond and say, yes, daddy, no, daddy, okay, daddy. <laughs> we do 24-7. True. 